On High Springs sewer plant property, hidden in the pine forest next to the spray fields, the ground is opening up. Recent downpours have led to the creation of nearly a dozen new sinkholes on the property, including a giant hole nearly 70 feet deep and more than 100 feet across. As the soft sand near the rim of the holes crumbles inwards, whole pine trees have toppled down into the largest of these terrestrial phenomenon. Uh, we believe after the heavy rains on uh, September 17th, a lot of water formed here in some low spots on the city's uh, wastewater plant site. Here in the pine trees, this is the expansion area for the wastewater spray field. And our crews, about a few days later, found some of these holes smaller than they are today. But because of the weight of the water, we believe it caused, or water even rushing underground through these underground water caverns, caused the tops of the caverns to collapse. Some of them in small chutes that go down deep, some that are in large cavities like this one right here. This one's probably about 75 feet deep and actually is uh, swallowed up some fairly large trees. The sinkholes don't have to be big to be dangerous. The first was discovered after a deer plummeted 50 feet down into a hole only 10 feet wide. This is the first sinkhole that we found. This was found uh, uh, Friday a week ago. And this one uh, is, is surrounded by limestone on the, on the ring of it, so it didn't get very wide, but it's very deep. It almost is uh, almost similar to a very deep manhole. Another sinkhole superior in size has formed in the spray field itself. The pine forest was set to be converted into an extension of the spray field, but until the city receives a report back from geologist Jones Edmonds detailing the area's safety, further tree clearing is on hold. I'm Lindsay Smith, and this has been a production of the North Florida Herald.